How's going on everybody? Welcome to another video of deploying your deep learning model on the Android app by using Android Studio IDE and Java language. So in this video, we are going to deploy or create the deep learning Android app. So if you know, I have already created so many videos on this topic, but still you have so many queries uh, regarding this. So I'll try to do all this step by step and no matter whatever model you have you will just have to follow these steps and you would be able to create your own deep learning app so keeping things simple i'm going to use cat dog classification model now no matter again just follow these steps and you would be able to create the and deep learning android app so um, keeping this video short i will just already write this code and will explain you what this code is doing so first of all, you have to convert your model to the TF Lite model. So in this video, we are doing, going to do the same thing. So first of all, I, I will just link all this code in down description, which will be a GitHub link. You can just go to there and you will get this code which by name convert.py. So first of all, we will have to load the model. Now I have saved the model using Keras, so I will have to load the model using Keras. So I have imported a library called from keras.model import load model. So I load more model which is catdog.h5 and it is in the same directory. And later on uh, uh, we have imported tensorflow sdf also and from that we have accessed the tf lite converter class and in that there is a function called from keras model and in this I will pass this model which I, I have already loaded over here. Okay nothing too much complex in it and later on we have tf light model and we can just use this converter object to convert this model keras model to the tf light model and i just printed a statement that model is converted and for saving this tf light model file we'll just open model.tf light as um, write binary and we'll just write this tf light model variable in this model.tf light um, file and if you have any other model by using any other method you can just uh, come to this page i will again link this page in down description uh, so uh, we are using this code because we have used keras wherever if you have used saved model then you can use this which is really less syntax and there are um, there is also called convert uh, concrete functions also you can do that so there there is almost a, a every way so now if we run this then you can say it says that model is converted and if we open the same directory then you can see that there is a called model.tflight file. Now uh, next step is not necessary you can just uh, run this step in order to check that your um, tflight model is working fine just you can just um, uh, again get this code from down description inf.py which is inference.py and um, as this is a cat dog classification you have to apply all the transformations you are applying to your model and just load your image by using cv2 again if you don't know anything about cv2 i have already created full playlist on this for, for the beginners you can just use that i will link it in i button there and uh, just run this all and I, let me just show you how this works so we are going to make the prediction on this image as you can see we have loaded doc.jpeg so we'll run this file so if we run this file uh, we get the output array of 0 and 1 where 0 means cat and 1 means dog and it is 0, uh, 0 probability which means it is not an image of cat wherever it is image of dog and it is making right predictions and from this you can conclude that our model tf light model is working fine now after all this we will create a new project in android studio and give the name whatever you want to and uh, language we are going to use is java and you can just click on finish all right so after waiting for some time uh, all the processes has been finished and our mod our new application is over here let me just give you more space for writing and uh, this is android main.xml and this is main activity.java and in simple words this is the back end part and this is the front end part which is gui so we will have to wait a little bit okay so this is the gui and this is the back end part now for whatever reason you have accidentally closed these files you can uh, come to this left menu bar and you can uh, go in java and this is the main activity and for opening the front end part go in the 
resources then layout and then activity main.xml all right so now we will first create our gui part so first of all what we want is uh, image on the screen whatever image the user selects okay and we will need two button one for selecting the image and one for uh, predicting right so we'll just place these two buttons on the screen and one last we thing we need is the text view to show the results to the user so we'll just select all these and we'll come over there and then we will uh, horizontally constrain them something like this and now we'll uh, vertically constrain them just do however i am doing in this video all right this is the simplest uh, gui part you can just give more time to this for making a better gui for let's just change the name of this button so we'll just select this button and search for it and we'll search for text and we'll say select and for this button we'll say predict all right so last thing let's just change this text view size to let's say uh, 18 sp yeah that's it for front end part and now we'll code the back end part of our app so first of all we are going to assign uh, create all the variables we'll create all of them as private it is not necessary so what we want to do is just create all the variable for all these um, objects so we'll we'll first create for image view something like this now we'll do for button and at last we will do for text view and if you are getting this red uh, text view then you can just press alt and enter and import the class something like this and uh, last thing we will create for bitmap also again press alt and enter to get rid of this red error all right now if you are new to android studio then uh, whenever you open the app first of all this function is called which is on create function so in this on create function we will first initialize all of these variables right so we'll say image view is equals to we'll uh, convert this to typecast this to image view and then we will say find view by id and in this we will say r dot id dot image view um, how do we know uh, this is image view if we go to the gui part and i select on this image i get rid of all this then you can see that id is the image view similarly for this button it is button and for this predict button it is button 2 so we'll have to do uh, for all of these variables one by one all right so i have done for text view select and predict and we have just typecasted to text view button button and this is text view button and button 2 you already know what are the ids of this and it now are we have done the initialization part okay so the first of all we have to do is whenever the user presses this button we'll open a new intent and in that there will be list of all the images and user have to select the image the list of all the images on the user's device so whenever we press this button it will show the list of all the images on the device and whenever user selects any image it will show that image on this image view so now we'll code that part so we'll say we'll select this select and we'll say set on click listener and in this we will say new view dot on click listener so we'll say new view dot on click listener something like this and in this whenever user presses the button this operation will going to happen whatever we are going to code in this so first of all we'll create a new intent called intent and this intent is going to be new intent and in this we'll say intent dot action get content and now we'll give the type and obviously the type will going to be we'll set the type to image okay so we are saying we are creating whenever user presses the button new intent will going to open which means new screen will going to open and that screen will comprise of all the images on the device okay so now we'll start the activity for result and we'll pass this intent and the code which is the request code and it can be any unique integer um, number now we'll get out of this on create function and whenever uh, any image has been selected we are going to override that function so we are going to say on activity result so we'll just click enter on this and this will going to open uh, something this interface to us and we are going to override this so as we have uh, set if result sorry request code is equals to 100 it means this intent is for image has been selected so what we are going to do in this we'll say um, image view 
dot set image uri and in this we'll say data dot data get data okay so this will going to set the image view and uh, the our work has been now completed and now one more thing we have to do is to um, save that image in this bitmap let's say img to this so we have to save this image to the img variable also so first of all we will have to create a uri let's say uri and it will be equals to data dot data right and let me just alt enter yeah and now we'll just say img is equals to this thing right over here let's just press alt enter to import this and if you are getting a red line over here and it says um unhandled exception so if we click on this then you will get this suggestion and you can say tr uh, surround with try and catch block and that error will going to be removed and now we have the image uh, in our img variable and the image view set so let us try run this app up to here and see if everything is working fine or not all right so here is our app let's just click on select and it is going to open a new intent let us select this image and as you can see that our image is on the screen but the problem is the buttons are now disappeared so we will have to fix that one now okay so for, for that we'll uh, come back to this gui part let's just get rid of all these vertical um, constraints just click on this and press the delete button click on this delete button and same click on this delete button and for this also okay so for getting rid of that error come to gui part dot xml file and drag your mouse on all of these elements and click on this align and then from there select a, a vertically in parent just click on this and it will going to look something like this and again select your image then place your image wherever you want to place that and then for text view and then for button something like this and then for a select button also now let's run this and see if it works or not okay so here our app has been opened click on select and then this image and you can see that uh, even though the image is so big it just fits in the background not um, just uh, affects all of these elements uh, let's select another, any other image click on this then uh, it is working fine at least better than previous okay so this was all about our front end part and everything is working fine actually so uh, most of our work has been now completed and now we have to code the predict button functionality so we'll again come in this um, on create function and we'll uh, code the predict button so we'll say predict dot set on click listener and in this we'll say new view dot on click listener okay and in this we'll just code everything we want to do with the image but before make sure you have the latest android studio and click on file icon then new and then other and from there click on tensorflow light model and now click on this file browser icon and from there select your tf light model wherever it is located so mine is in the downloads cat dog and this is model.tf light and i will click ok on this and then click finish and now it will going to take some amount of time and you just have to wait for that okay so our model has been loaded and new window will open which is um, some which will look something like this and now in this will what we will first do we'll have to resize our image which is the bitmap image okay so as you can see that our model accepts the input of 128 by 128 and it is of float 32 right so first we'll just uh, create the uh, scaled bitmap so we'll say image is equals to bitmap dot create scaled bitmap something like this and in this we'll pass image and then height and width which is 128 and then 128 and then for filter we'll set it to true yeah so our image is now um, converted to resize to 128 by 128 now we'll go to model.tf light and in this java now for any reason if you uh, forget click uh, closed this file you can just go in this project and then in ml and in this just just double click on model.tf light again you will open this now we'll go in java and just copy this whole code and paste it in main activity and in this on create um sorry on create method and predict dot set on click listener so you would get a, a lot of red error and just click alt enter and again alt enter 
and again alt enter sorry uh, go to tensor tensor buffer and click alt enter and then again alt enter and for data type click alt enter and now uh, for this context click on get uh, uh, click on that and click get application context something like this and now we will have to create this byte buffer for that just follow these steps okay so first of all we will create a tensor image right tensor image click alt enter to import this class and we'll say tensor image something like this and we say new tensor image and in this you have to pass in the data type of your model with of your image right so in this case it's float 32 so in this we'll pass data type dot float 32 something like this and now we'll import the image tensor image dot load and you have to pass this img variable something like this and now we'll create a byte buffer and we call this byte buffer and it will be img sorry tensor image dot get byte uh, get buffer and click and add semicolon to it and now everything looks fine and our predictions will be in this output features zero so when this model has been closed we'll update this tv so we say tv dot set text and first of all we'll add the first um, value of the array so we'll say output features 0 dot get float array and we you have to pass in the index and later on we add a string slash n and plus and same thing we for the second element of that array okay so that was it so let's try to run this and see if it works or not okay so here is our app let's click on select and select this image of dog and click on predict and you can see uh, first index is for cat and second is for dog and it is 1.0 means it is dog let us select uh, image of this cat click on predict and you can see that it is predicting it as cat okay so next thing um you can apply just more manipulation you can check for if this is greater than first value then it means it is cat if this is greater than this value then it means it is dog and now next part um, is all up to you whatever you want to do with your app and this is the prediction from your deep learning model and uh, i think that this is pretty much all about deploying your deep learning model on the android app and I have also used just a basic GUI and tried making this video as short as possible. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new today, make sure you give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more such amazing content. And this was it. Bye.